Welcome back to Elden Ring! Didn't think I'd be able to say that. Just, yeah. Ooh, welcome back to Elden Ring. I know it's episode 5, but wow. Welcome back to Elden Ring. Ooh. <sighs> More like Helden Ring and what we're about to get into. Sounds about right. Speaking of which, I, I kind of forget what happened. It's a good thing you have me write notes. Uh, exactly, that's yeah, do, exactly do, the point. Do you want to hear my notes? I, I would. Uh, see, we've got a good chunk of the map taken care of already. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to be uh, doing some things to give us a little bit more uh, experience. Matter of fact, uh, we got 10,000. Might as well uh, use some of that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get upgraded. So in the meantime, uh, why don't you go ahead and tell me what notes you've taken? Hmm? Okay, very specific notes. Okay, go <clears> ahead. So uh, the first thing, uh, some uh, someone boinked a goblin and made Bach. He was cursed to be a tree, told us to go to a cave on a shore. That's good to know. Uh, we met Kenneth on a bridge. He started waxing poetically. Uh, let's see, uh, we're honest to a fault according to the Weapon Master. We found Reapers in a graveyard along with D. Oh yeah, there was a guy named D, wasn't there? Yes, there was. Uh, we found the first grind spot, but the dragon looked pissed. And speaking of which, DRAGONS! We finally made it to the cool kids table over where all the other tarnished are gathering. We were looking over the grand landscape and I said, wow, pretty game. And... For the sake of everyone, we got started so we can finally get started. It's gonna take a lot to get started, but I'm glad we're getting started. Yeah, we also found the second blacksmith in a pile of LARPers. Uh, we died to finger spiders, ew. Reduvia. And cheated the boss, hell yeah! So, and now we're back to the cool kids table. So Reduvia is what we're taking care of. I'm gonna see if I can get a better shield. If you get a better shield, I'll be able to help us out a lot better. So what do we so end up see, upgrading, by the gotta, way? See, all right, this this one's good to start us out with. This is a heater shield. It's got physical negation of a hundred. That's it's 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 crucial. That's Believe extremely me. good. It's absolutely crucial. Uh, did you upgrade your Estus when you were at the bonfire? No. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen when it happened. But all right, we got a shield. All right, uh, we got we got a shield. Let me go ahead and equip that right now. Actually, yes, yes. Equip wow, this is the first that. time we're looking at our equipment. That's, that is true. We've just been getting started so much. We don't have any talismans right now to help us out. Uh, in terms of armor, we're limited to what we have on our backs. That's okay. That's okay. Got we got a bow, which would be good for. I don't think we have a lot of arrows to use, so we're not going to uh, be using that too much. Well, Twenty nine total. All right, so is go that ahead our new shield? shield? That's yep. That's our new shield right there. Ooh. Put a bow in there too. We're still good on. Load. There's our jellyfish shield. That's a, that was actually a pretty good shield. In fact, but, but uh, you don't have the strength to use it. Uh, right, right, now. right, right. We're not, we're not strong enough. No, we're not. So we'll just take that not off. Not right strong now. enough. In terms of weapons, we got a, the sword of night and flame, Which, but we don't have the yeah. intelligence or the faith to use it. Did we pick up the sword and just go? Duh! I mean, we can use it. It's just not going to be as effective, and we can't do the special magical powers that come with I it. I love it. But we've got uh, un we've got uh, the katana, and that's uh, good for right now. And we got our Noise shield, so I'd say we're looking pretty so far. We're ready to start the. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh, oh, got a new gesture. Let's use it. Yeah, use it right now. All right, uh, let me go ahead and switch. Is it uh, top right? This one. Oh. Uh, what you, yeah, there. What do you want? So. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, look at me. I can be aloof, too. Loser. Okay. So our destination is through here. This is where we're heading. I like it. Where is that? It's uh, by Agil Lake here. We unlocked so many bonfires last time. I'm just... In awe. Oh, I understand, I understand. There's Lead me, sir. Show me where we're going to go today. All right. So. This is uh, Lake Agil over here. It's very green. Oh, you mean coming up. Uh, the, oh, this okay. th th this oh, lake the, shown the here. the lake yes. thing with the, the actual lake. water in it. The, oh! le the lake. The lake. The lake, 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 You're hot. You're on fire. Oh, it burns. Are those exploding pustules I see in this uh, this lake here? Probably not, but this is a dangerous place. 
We don't want to linger for too long. I have a strange feeling that every single place we're going to is a very dangerous place. Oh. What's up, guys? Did I not get my bow out? I thought you did. There. Okay. There you go. If I were to go forward, those guys would ambush me, but this way I'll have them come at me. Well. Well. <laughs> right through the dress. One there at a time. Ah. Even takes fall damage. How lovely is that? All right, bring it on. Come on. Ah. Ah. ah! Man, you're slow. So were, they were just sitting up there, just waiting patiently? Yep. Oh, and they're skeletons, so they have to be killed twice. Right, 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 right. There we go. I do like the idea of a skeleton going, Hey. Hey, Jim. You see that guy coming up? I got him. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, you go get him. I'll get the other one. Uh, I think we can take two on one, even yeah. though they got spears. A little scary, not gonna lie. Well, it looks like they're not aggroed, so yeah, take this guy. They don't have spears, though, or shields, though. Oh! What was that? Someone came from behind. Oh, me. that's not good. Yeah, that's very bad. Oh, oh two of them. Several of them. Where the hell did they come from? Oh, this it doesn't. Yeah, they're not doing a lot of damage, yeah. so this is perfect. Uh, except for the, you know, stabby part. It's all right. We got a uh, really potent uh, Estus flask right now, so all we gotta do is just be a little. There we go. A little careful. There's an official skeleton kill. Okay. More! You! I got him! I got him! I got him! Is there a stab that down guy. move, by the way? Sort of? Like, like kinda? It, it depends on the weapon, I think, for me, it's like... Oh, okay, like, there like you that. go. A human bone shard. Huh. Okay, a couple more undead here. Yo! I'm just loving this fantasy setting right here. Was that all Martin? That's who? Uh, George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah. He made the map and everything, or was that... Oh, no, he, he, he based... Uh, no. no one really knows exactly the extent of George R.R.'s uh, in involvement. But uh, it's believed that he made up what happened before the Shattering. Oh. That's fun. Like, the, the characters, the setting, and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But as for what actually happened, and, you know, everything in between, that's all from software and Hidetaka Miyazaki. I would have loved it if they just said, look, here's what we're normally... Here's what we're known for the most right now. You know, Souls games. Why don't you make it as fucked up as you want, and we'll adjust from there. What we got here? Outsider ahead. Visions of enemy. Aren't we an outsider? Oh... Oh. One thing I do when I do is I want to take a quick pit stop in here. That we are unable to do because we're invaded by bloody figure Nerigus! Oh no! What does that mean? It means that that guy's out to kill us. Oh, well, take him down. Is, is that an NPC or is yeah. that an actual person? That's an other NPC. Person? Okay. I was about to say, oh, how convenient that somebody shows up right as we're. I want what you have! Okay, okay. Take it by force. Never gonna get what I have. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay. Another bloody finger? Oh shit. <laughs> well. Huh. D oh, that guy's helping. That guy's helping. Two bloody fingers. He's a bloody finger hunter. He hunts bloody fingers. Oh. Yeah, all right. That means we just gotta. That's all right. We'll it's, get back there. It's, it's okay. We can get back. But we have to no kill problem. the skeletons again, which kind of sucks. Yeah, a, a, a little bit. That's a bit of a run back. Maybe if we just run fast. I was enough, about to say run past they them. Won't even, they won't even bother us. I mean, they're skeletons. It's not like they're running marathons. They're either gonna they're either gonna not bother us if we go far enough, or we're gonna be absolutely destroyed by the skeletons and your and Nerigus. <laughs> I would love it if you just ran past them on your horse. Like, screw the guys who are gonna ambush you. There is a space in between the two different ones. Straight through. Straight through. No fear. No fear. No fear. None. Easy every time. And now they will de-aggro right... Now. So we get to this point. The torrent is dismounted. Whenever you suddenly dismount from torrent, 
and that wasn't you, that means that you've been invaded by somebody. <gasps> That's so cool! Torrent's like, uh, uh no way, you're not gonna use me to cheese your way out of this PvP nonsense. Show him who's boss. Yeah, kill this NPC. Jumpy boy, though. The, the bloodlust, though, or blood loss, excuse me. I mean, he has bloodlust, but the blood loss hurts. All right, nice. just wait for the hunter. Wait for the hunter. Derek, help! Oh. Help! Oh. Derek! Yura! Yeah, Yura! You're a hunter, aren't you? You're right, great. Yes, the end is nigh. Help yeah, me! Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Here, double team him, double team him. I'm so glad there's f no friendly fire. <laughs> wait, did you just get more blood loss from that? Yeah, because that's what his, what his weapon does. It uh, accumulates more blood loss. Ow! So that's what, so is my weapon. Yeah, we got him. Good job, man. Oh, and now we have Reduvia. Oh, it wasn't a boss. I thought Reduvia was a boss. Reduvia is a weapon. What does it do? Oh, show me, please. It's a weapon we can't use it because our arcane isn't high enough. Magic? But that doesn't matter. Ooh, it's fast. It's a fast dagger. Ooh, it's fast. And ordinarily, you'd be able to use the Reduvia Blood Blade. But because our arcane isn't high enough, it's, it arcs and it's not very strong. Okay, so get better with magic and then we'll be able to actually use the full potential of Blood Blade. But I think I've decided we're going to go for the Intelligence. Be a smart boy. We're gonna- we're gonna be a smart boy, because the- the magics that we learn with intelligence uh, are, are better than arcane. Okay. Doing an arcane build is a little difficult until you get the- one of the last weapons of the game. But we'll get to that. I look forward to grinding in my off time, so we're at level 200 by the time we get to level <laughs> 2. This is Murkwater Cave. You wanna give this place a shot? What? We got some- we got some time. We'll go ahead and uh, hit this place up. Uh, okay. This is Murkwater Cave. Okay. This is just, uh, Elden Ring is, of course, littered with tons and tons of dungeons everywhere. Ah. Little side places. I mean, remember our friend Bach? Yeah. That's where he went. He went to some place around over here. Oh. And there's another cave right in here. You can actually see it on the map, tucked in into the corner of the, of the lake here. There's another mm. one around here somewhere. You could almost see it if you squint. Uh, let's see. You can... See, that one's pretty obvious. Over in Kaled. There's your caves over here. There's, it's, there's so much stuff here. But actually, I want to try and get something first. Boss. So while you're inside a cave you haven't cleared yet, you can't warp to other bonfires. So if you're not careful, you can get trapped. It didn't close behind us, did it? It didn't, no. This one, this one we can get out of, but uh, some of them, well, you can't. Cool. Because the because the, the the grace is done a one way, then you can't. Yeah. So something need to get need to get from this guy over here. Is that just to make these little mini dungeons easier, or just something you want? Both. Oh, okay. Something I want, and it will make everything easier. I like hearing that. You're near surprised, you No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you? Take a look at my wares. Oh, we'll do. Don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Really don't care, that's okay. This right here. A lantern. Oh. Just to light the darkness, right? Things get pretty dark in these caves sometimes. Please tell me it attaches to your back. And you don't have to, like, hold it. Yes! There we go. It's not as good as a torch. It's something, though. But it's something. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. Back to Murkwater. You can teleport into the caves? Yep. But not out of them. But not out of them until we clear it. All right. Go get it, mate. I got faith in you. can get some help if people are still playing this version this late. This version? I mean, PS5, I'm sure people on PC a whole lot, but it's hard to tell. What's up, buddy? Hey, you! No! Whoa! Well... <laughs> Are 
oh, going for help? I think I they? just alerted everybody in the dungeon. Here. All right. Well, if they make a conga line, po get... poison. Oh my god. Yeah, not not great, not great. Hmm. Nice wind up there from that loser. Yes. There we go. Conga line defeated. All right. Which means that the rest of the cave should be. Oh wait. No wait wait. Okay. All right. Wait, it... I thought that was somebody. What's this way? This is just the way back up. That was the entrance. Yeah. That's the entrance. Okay. I think so. Yeah. Don't have anything that cures poison, but that's okay. It's over now, and I just have three essence flasks now. But that's okay. Imagine that's being okay. poisoned, and you have to be like, "All right, I gotta let my own blood." Hold on. All right, I gotta let this pass through my system. Uh, Hang on. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're done. We're at the boss already. What? But we'll uh, get to him in a little bit. There's still more to explore, of course. Like the moss on the ground. So what was that jingling bell? It just it just alerts people. Oh. Fell into a trap, so to speak. Yeah. Mimic! Damn it! It's just a mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. So, not really worth it, I'd say. Unless if there's a hidden door behind... No, uh, there no. really isn't. And that's where the Mimic is. In the chest behind the fake wall. Easy. Alright. Ready for our first boss of the first dungeon? First boss of first dungeon, yes! Uh, what? Where is he? Normally, the boss would just be here. And ready and waiting. Yeah. Is he in the ceiling? Well, uh, is he the... He's the treasure chest. Well, some dungeons just don't have bosses, I guess. See? Nothing here. Well, well, well. Oh, 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 oh. I do! Come here, Patches! It's Patches! Oh, what a lovely pet name. Long-running souls-like uh, joke character. Wait, really? He's yep. A, in, in other Souls games? Patches has been in every Souls game since Demon's Souls. He's even in Bloodborne. Holy cow. I love all the blood splatters around there. Is that... Are those dead people or just leaving messages? Don't fall for that. Uh, oh. Well, finally come round, have you? <laughs> I knew huh. <laughs> you were a lady of reason. True and true. <laughs> ah. So he is now an NPC, and he has his own quest line, of course. Like me. Oh. Now, now, how did I get that role? I took you for a demi-human. I assume you could just kill him outright if you don't care. Sure. You. But you lose out on some uh, nice NPC stuff, and of course his joke where he always kicks you down a cliff. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Ah, eh, forgive and forget. True lady of reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. <laughs> Does that mean his clothes are falling apart? Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bad. Really sneaky, though. for my gruel. Are you waiting for it? Well, waiting for that dagger to go into your shins? So his his uh, days of backstabbing are not through. But it's more charming than menacing. It's like, oh, look at Patches trying to be it. Yeah, he, yeah, he thinks he's being like, you know, it's like, sorry, mate, but it's just how the white things are. And he's like, oh, Patches, you. Oh, you. <laughs> and then when we, you know, come back unscathed from his from his plot that thought he thought would kill us. He'd be like, wait, wait, I didn't mean, you're not going to kill me, are you? I did, I did. <laughs> Like, nah, of course not, Patches, you, you ruffle his oh, bald yeah. head, I mean, well. Yeah. Ruffle the, <laughs> the smudges of skin on his head. So why do we need Reduvia? You're probably wondering. Uh, probably suck blood from other monsters. Well, let's go back here. To fell a ravaged beast over in Fort Fach. Or Furrow, whatever right. it was. So. You got any great stories you want to tell? Now would be a good time to have any great stories that you want to tell here. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. Except I am. Are you going to kill Mother Dragon? With a blood blade? Oh my god, you're going to like stab her tail a million times. Aren't you? Oh my god. 
Oh my god! She has a lot of HP. Like a lot, a lot of HP. What's that on top of the Reduvia Bloodblade? What is that little, little, little symbol there? How are you doing? This means that I can summon uh, uh, an Ash of War. Oh, okay. Whatever that means. Though. We'll get to that later. Okay. It's, it's something Ronnie gave us. Well, it should have given us. Oh, wow, she's actually taking a lot of damage. Was that from the blood? It's blood loss. Oh. Blood loss is how you killed this character. Well, why would you want to... Well, giant dragon, understood. Gi giant dragons. And the thing is, we're in a spot where she can't really do a whole lot about us because she knows that she's being damaged. She knows that there's a threat being given unto her, but she doesn't know where or how. And so she can't summon the other dragons to attack you? Oh, she can. She absolutely can, and she probably will. Okay. Oh, there's the blood loss. Hell yeah. 13,000 damage of blood loss? 13,000 damage, because blood loss is percentage-based. Oh, good lord. That's awesome. And even though our sword would have done it, uh, Reduvia accumulates blood, uh, blood loss a lot faster. Yeah. Another 13,000 here. If you're writing stuff down, I can only imagine what it could be. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you can't write that word on. Yes, I can. No, oh, no, look! No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. He just, just wrote Dragon Death. Oh, uh, let's see. As far as the story, yeah, I got one for you. What do you got? Well, I'm starting a new D&D uh, &D campaign with. Uh, my, my family members. Oh, oh yeah. What's what, what do you got? Because we're still on on our one that we've been doing for, for over a year now. So it's, it's starting to wrap up though. I mainly started a character. We haven't started the campaign yet. We're kind of getting started uh -huh. because uh, we're dealing with a first timer DM, and you know we're all still young, uh, figuring this whole D and D thing out. But uh, I wanted to try out a wizard this time. Oh. So I've got cantrips. You, you, you know, I've been thinking about doing that for uh, my next campaign too. Just to uh, go down the wizard path on the straight and narrow, not have, not have any homebrew going on. We do a lot of homebrew. Good luck with that. It's a lot of reading, <laughs> because you have. Lucky for you, I'm illiterate. Ha -ha. Uh, so, aha! I'll just figure it out on the fly. It's how I do everything. No, but the, there are tons of cantrips that you can do. I think I'm allowed three of them at the very start at level zero. So three different cantrips that are fun to use. Uh, I managed to roll pretty high, so I'm wicked intelligent when it comes to spells, so I can use... I, I think uh, I can use two a day out of a pool of five, but I know six of them. I can't wait to start using spells. Some of their descriptions are amazing. I made my DM mad, I think. And what'd you do last, this last time? <laughs> what'd you do? I've, I've, got, I've got this great character who... Uh, all, like, see, we're very smart D&D &D players, by and I, especially. And uh, a lot of the tricks that he tries to pull on us, we don't do. Don't fall for it, we, yeah. we don't fall for him. And we also roll good enough that his plan always goes awry. Like, uh, one time, uh, you know what a swap bow is? No, what is a swap bow? Well, I think, uh, she's, oh, she's calling for help now. Oh. Because her health is getting low, she's, she's crying for her. So now the dragons are awake. And they're looking for me, but they don't know where I am. Because she doesn't know. Because she doesn't know. She just knows that, you know, she's hurt real bad and, uh, yeah. And, and uh, the, the key is, is that when you kill those bigger dragons, they in turn take a chunk of her health down. But, or you could just do it all in one fell swoop. Like, look, even this message here says weak foe ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, how I made my DM mad. There's this character who has this box that has a god in it, an evil god. And I'm going to put up, and uh, she she intends to put our entire party, the three of us, in this box. Okay. Except I didn't. <laughs> so my character is outside, the other two are in there. <laughs> and then I basically just kick her and take the box from her? <laughs> How, how do you roll for that? It, uh, it's a, a wisdom saving throw. I, I roll high. Oh, that's because my so wisdom's really high. Funny. 
And, oh, that's awesome. And uh, this is, of course, a frail old woman ho holding this uh, powerful demon box, so it doesn't take much to overpower her or indeed hit her. <laughs> Did I? So what? What? What basically turned what, what should have been an ordeal that should have taken a couple of sessions, I solved in about uh, you know half an hour. Half an hour, yeah. And hey, hey. there we go. Goodbye, Mother Dragon. We got a dragon heart. Five dragon hearts. Wow. Wowie! Wow! 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 She had five hearts. But now we can learn draconic nope, magic. That Is wasn't that wasn't five hearts from one dragon. It was five, one heart divided into that five. That was five separate dragons, including Mother Dragon, because her children died with her. Oh! What? We just took out a family of dragons. Yep, because they never found me, and now she's perma dead. How many runes <laughs> did we pick up? <laughs> Quite a lot. Oh. My well, god, I look at that number. That. We're already oh, in five yeah. digits, dude! Jesus! Let's see. Let's get things up a little bit. We're gonna keep intelligence up, but you know... How, how much we got? Five, a lot. Six, seven, a eight, a eight, lot. Nine, ten, eleven, a twelve, lot. Eleven more, okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's get the vigor up, up the mind a bit. Yeah, I say we go let's for being able to have the full use of the blood blade. Now, is this stuff you found out on your own, by the way? Sure. Oh. Let's, we'll go ahead and say that. A little extra help from the internet, maybe. Yeah. The wiki was certainly a big help in learning where things are, how to level them up, and all that. And there's uh, our last level. I think we need 14 to use that effectively, so we'll down endurance a bit. We're doing good on that so far. And that should be okay. Jesus. Already at level 34. Are you kidding me? And now we can use the blood blade as it was meant to be used. Oh, that that just looks awesome. But now we're wasting magic. Yes. So that means we need to go ahead and do one of these numbers. We can change how many flasks are, are, are uh, given. Oh. So go ahead and do... Yeah, that'll be good. For now, at least. Does your magic refill whenever you hit a bonfire? Yeah, everything refills when you hit a bonfire. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, okay. So we're good there. We're good. Doing okay. Looking good. I'd like to get my sword back, though. That would be nice. But you got the knife. That. We're still looking good on load. Don't, I don't know why I got that. But, okay. So we're, 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 we're golden. We're golden. Wow. I'm platinum. I think we've actually gotten started what do you know <laughs> oh my god finally well now what do we do all right well just like do whatever we want really let's go ahead and move ahead with box thing because i said there was a cave down here yeah let's go do let's that let's go hit that up yeah, yeah, yeah.